Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. This video vlog is going to be all about a 30 day challenge I am doing with my father. So the other day I got this like idea. I love meditating and I, and I do it, yet I don't do it all the time or the times that I want to. But yet when I know when I do it and I'm consistent with it, I know how much it impacts my life and improves my life. And so... I had the idea to do a little 30 day challenge with my dad so my dad can um, have some stress, you know, as we all do in this world. And he said he was down for it. So I created a list of meditations by Dr. Joe Dispenza. So I just reread the book. I read it back in 2020. And now I read it again in January, which was Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself. And it's really just learning like all about reprogramming your mind, right? And this is like what I'm all about. It's what I teach, it's what I preach. Like that is my life. Um, but something there was like some resistance with doing the 45 minute to hour long meditations that he recommends at the end of the book and so I noticed that Me resisting it was me not doing anything at all And then I sat with myself the other day and I was like, okay, like I want to listen to my body My intuition is not feeling this and like I do believe there's a difference with like leaning into resistance because on the other side of resistance is transformation. But then there's that other type of resistance that's like, no, this is not for you right now. Like, you need to listen to your intuition. And like, and throughout the years, I've done a lot of work on learning how to like, listen to the difference between the resistance. And like, when am I just making an excuse and not doing what I know I should do? Because there's growth and uncomfortability in that like, unknown zone. Or when it's like, no, like really listen to your body. Like, your intuition is telling you something. So I, I am listening. And so I actually found a list of... I created a list of meditations by Dr. Joe Dispenza, but they're around like the 15 to 30 minute mark And I feel really really good with that and if throughout these next 30 days I want to do more I will do more but yeah, so that's where I'm at so I'm gonna be recording and seeing like What this 30 days is going to do for me and I decided to take you along the ride Maybe it'll inspire you to do the same thing and who knows maybe nothing will change or maybe Everything will change like I really don't have expectations but I have intentions. My intentions are really to slow down, connect to myself, and really create the vision and reality and version of myself, the next version of myself in these sessions. So this last year has been really, um, it's been a lot, and there's been a lot of growth and uncomfortability and a lot of healing, and that's all good. But once you like release and heal, we got to replace it with the new. And so I'm in a really transformational phase or transitional phase where I'm doing a lot of rebranding and rebranding my podcast. I'm re completely recreating Embrace Your Radiance, which is like a whole new program, essentially. And it's amazing. Oh my goodness. I cannot wait for the impact that's going to make on women's lives. Like the next round is going to be in August, I think. Um, and then I'm shifting my one-on-one -on -one ideal client like who I'm working with so there's been a lot and with that there's a lot of uncomfortability and there's a lot of um, Ability not ability, but I can just easily Go back to old ways of thinking or old thought patterns or old habits, right? Like that's what we do But I'm trying to break that and create a new version of myself a new reality of myself So that is my intention is just to slow down connect to myself step into this next chapter and we will see so i just finished the first meditation and it was really good we were talking all about like bringing the energy up to from the root all the way to our head um but here it is so this is going to be a compilation of 30 days of meditation with each milestone maybe each week i will share with you how i'm feeling what shifts are being made i'll let you know what my dad is doing my dad is loving it already he's like i love it i did it twice um yeah so welcome along we're gonna be together for the next 30 days of meditating and we'll see how this goes today is day four or five of this 30-day meditation challenge and it's been feeling really good the meditations have been around like 15 minutes long they've been perfect I've been really feeling my energy because like the power of manifestation is to feel like what it's going to feel like when you have what it is but to feel it now before you actually have it i don't know if it's the music or his voice because he doesn't talk too much in these meditations i think there's like clips from his like longer meditations um i feel really good and i get like in a really zen place and i'm, I'm, I'm zen out right now so i want to keep this going my dad is loving it 
days and more meditations to come. Well, I just finished day 14, so I am halfway into this 30 day meditation challenge and I just did a 30 minute one and I like, I don't know where I went. I definitely like, um, was naughty now and I feel really relaxed. Uh, the last, like the last two weeks I've found some meditations that I love, some that I didn't, different time periods and it's been really cool. Dr. Doe definitely has like a way with like the music and his words to kind of get you in a really trans out state. There have been some that I didn't really like too much. They're a little too activating for me, but things have been good. I've noticed now throughout my days that I've been a little bit more calmer, more intentional, um, and just really giving space for myself. And when I'm in a state or an emotion or thoughts, like. I feel like I'm able to shift out of them more and if not, I'll go meditate and I just am feeling a lot better. So we're halfway through. My dad is loving them. He's still doing it. And we got more to do, but so far I'm feeling really good. on this meditation challenge we went about two weeks or three weeks I think it was two weeks I can't even remember but a little update so we did about two weeks maybe three weeks of Joe Dispenza's meditations and they were great but we just found that they were kind of getting repetitive just because we weren't doing his full hour long ones and the ones that we were finding on YouTube were just a little um, snippets of the ones of his longer ones so we wanted to change things up so my dad was like let's do Deepak Chopra's 21 day abundance meditations so it's going to be longer than a 30 day meditation challenge it will change the title of this um, so we are doing Deepak Chopra's 21 day abundance so I don't really have any expectations I'm not expecting anything I'm just again just doing this to get myself back into the routine and see what happens I will say um, the last few weeks since doing meditations daily I've felt a lot more calmer a lot more connected just a lot more aware and present and just things are going really, really well around me. So it feels really good. So we'll see what these 21 days have to store and I'll keep you guys updated. So in the middle of this meditation series challenge, as you can see, I'm in a whole different location. I actually moved into my boyfriend's house and I'm keeping it up. We're keeping up the meditations. We're doing them in the morning. I have a few more days of this Deepak Chopra 21 day challenge. And yeah, we have a few more days and I can't wait to see how I feel after it. So far, I'm feeling so good. It helped me stay calm throughout my mood. And it's just like a part of my routine now and I'm loving it. Well, that concludes my meditation challenge, which started as a 30 day meditation, turned into 42, 46, somewhere around there. We did about like, we did the 21 days Deepak Chopra challenge. I will make sure I put it in the description box below. Before that, we did two, three, maybe between there, weeks of Joe Dispenza's meditations as well. So comparing the two meditation series, Deepak Chopra's were shorter and faster and a little bit more and a little bit easier to do in the sense of you're repeating a mantra and it lets you focus on that. Where Joe Dispenza's, I really felt the energy. Like I felt my vibration and my frequency shifting during the meditation and I felt like I went into a deeper trance state because they were longer. We did a little bit more energy work and they were really cool. I, I love both of them. I definitely recommend the Deepo, Deepak Chopra ones if you are a beginner and if you are more advanced. Graduating into graduating into Dr. Joe Dispenza's, he's amazing. It's very energy based. You will feel very differently. You will go into a deep energetic trance from it and they're so powerful. So I love both of them. It really just depends on what you're looking for and what level you are at. Uh, and so, huh, wow. So looking at my entire journey, I meditated every single day except 
for this last weekend when I went home, I was running around for a wedding and I didn't make the time and that's on me. And I also realized how good it feels to get back into it. So I've meditated, I've been meditating for years, right? And I hadn't been consistent with it and I know I benefit from it. So this meditation challenge, doing it with my dad was so amazing for us to do together, to bond, as well as just being able to stay consistent and implement it into my life. We're going to continue. He found another challenge series that he wants to do. So we're going to continue this up, but overall my my outtake on the last 42 some days, month and a half, I feel so much more calmer and clear headed. I feel like I, when something bad happens or something unplanned happens, I'm able to kind of come back into myself, into grounding and look at it from a clear minded perspective and really handle it in a calm manner, as well as just feeling super connected with myself, my thoughts, and my goals that I'm currently working on. And honestly, this was like the best time frame to do it. I obviously have had a really hectic schedule with packing and moving to a new house and just a lot of things going on with my life and business. And so this really gave me time to ensure I was taking care of my mental health. And so many good, amazing things have happened. The last like week or so, there's been so many, the last three weeks or so, there's been a lot of synchronicities that have been happening. and. I don't believe in coincidences. I think it's just the fact that I am shifting my frequency and my vibration by taking time each morning day to meditate and to focus on abundance and to just really tap into who I am and what I'm calling in. And it's been really, really cool to watch. So thank you so much for watching. I highly recommend getting into meditation. It doesn't have to be long. The 21 day abundance meditation series by Deepak Chopra. They're 12 minutes and really he speaks for the first five minutes. So I highly recommend doing that, especially if you're a beginner. It was amazing. I think we're going to do some longer ones going forward and I will keep you updated for the meditations I will continue to do with my dad. But overall, it's been an amazing experience and I just feel so much lighter, so much more connected, so much more abundant. And this is what we're meant to, this is how we're meant to feel. Um, finding time in our day to slow down, to connect to ourselves when there's so much going on, when we're constantly on our phones, we're constantly simulated. Meditation is a beautiful way to fill up your cup, to become aware of like the thoughts, the feelings, the sensations that are going on with you. So then you can make shifts, right? Of how you're thinking, how you're feeling and bring awareness to that. It helps you get grounded and connected, which is what we all need more of. So I'm so glad I did this. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this inspired you to get into your meditation game to try out a series i'll put the deepak chopra ones here the joe dispensa ones i just found some ones on youtube i can put a few links below if it lets me um, for you to try remember to like and subscribe i'm going to continue to share more content as i'm traveling now the next few weeks and i have so many great things that i'm going to create and share with you here on youtube on the podcast channel Make sure you're following here at The Radiant Life and my Instagram at Tatiana underscore Kuto that involve breath work, meditations, ways to take care of your mental health, to content, connect to your intuition, to yourself, to your body, and just sharing what I've embodied, what I've experienced throughout the way. I appreciate you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.